I would imagine this is a question you guys have gotten before. I know it's one that I receive fairly regularly. Um, a lot of younger women interested in knowing this, single women. How do you know when you've met the one? For me personally, um, when I met my husband, we were friends for maybe three or four years. And so when we became friends, that was never my thought. I didn't think that we would end up how we did. Um, but I remember when my heart had started, heart had started to shift towards him, where I started to have an affection for him. I knew something was different because I was willing to follow him. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 we had gifts that were very similar. He pushed me in a, not pushed, that sounds terrible, but mm -hmm. he, he stretched me in a way that was welcomed. Yes. Um, and I felt willing to trust him mm -hmm. with my heart. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel that for anybody. Mm -hmm. And so that was one of the ways I saw like, man, I think maybe. I don't know. <laughs> D he might be my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I have a lot of um, unmarried women in my church congregation, and so this question comes up a lot. And I always laugh that they have these really kind of crazy ideas of like, okay, like I'm a firstborn, so I could never marry marry a yeah. somebody who's a middle child because like that's never going to work. I'm like, what book did you read that in? You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I kind of feel like you know. Whether or not you think he's the one, like he becomes the one after you say yes to him. Yeah. He becomes the one. That's the person you promised yourself to. And of course you want to make uh, like the wisest decision possible. So you should be in community with people. You right. know, you should be, do other people say, this seems really good for you. Yeah. You know, or are you the kind of relationship where you sort of isolate yourself from your community and all of a sudden you're just, you know, this pair that, you know, you've lost connection with your friends. What do your friends say about this? Um, about this guy, like, does he have really good guy friends? And for me, when I, um, similar to you, Jackie, when I met Ryan at Wheaton College, I, the, the thing that was really different is that it wasn't that I just liked him or was attracted to him, I actually admired him. Yeah. He was the first man I really admired, where I said, I, I have so much to learn from him. Yeah. I really want to be like him. Yeah. I think I want to. I want him to teach me things that he obviously knows, mm -hmm. and that for me was so different. I had, with Jeff, we were friends for uh, a solid year before we ever went out, and I had a huge distrust of romance anyway, and so I know the Lord knew that was what I needed, mm -hmm. but it, it, and I grew up with four brothers, and so I was accustomed to friendships with guys, and the romance part felt just almost disingenuous to me, I think, because I had enjoyed such good friendships with guys, not just my brothers, but other guys as well, and uh, I think I always saw marriage as when you give up your male friendships, you know, and and marrying someone who I was really good friends with has been just a delight. And it has been, I look at uh, the hard marriage stories that we hear in our church, and I'm sure you guys hear them too. And I think, gosh, I can tell you guys love each other. I just don't know if you like each other. And I wish that more women were thinking about marriage in terms of, do I feel a genuine just affection for this person as another human being? Because for the long haul, you're probably going to be more willing to lay down your preferences for someone who you just genuinely like. Romance is only going to carry you so far. And um, we've really encouraged our kids as well. Hey, why don't you form good friendships with, with people of the opposite sex? Because if you can identify what, what mutual respect and friendship look like, and then you can have that be part of the marriage relationship, it, at least in my experience, it has saved us a world of heartache. And, uh, but then, like you said, Jen, not everyone did that before they got married and they find themselves right. on the other side of it. It's like, now what? Right. And you're exactly right. It's, um, well, now how do I show yeah. preferential love to this person, even though there are going to be difficulties? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you, you do. You have to look for the things that, that you can celebrate about them and for the ways that they make you better and, mm -hmm. and focus on those things and nurture those things. And also, there's no reason that on the far side of a marriage that wasn't founded on friendship that you can't look for ways to develop that around Absolutely. shared interests and all of that. I mean, I think it's a constant growth after yeah. you get married. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as just you're constantly investing in the relationship and the friendship and in the in, uh, various other kinds of ways of intimacy that you experience.
experience in a marriage. Like it's not, it's not just that you know you marry and it's all perfect and yeah. it just stays. You know, it's not static, right? Yeah. You're constantly changing. Your your lives are changing as as you grow and mature. And I think you know, I got married at 22. What did we even know about Nobody knows anything. Yeah. Why are we ourselves, getting married? Yeah. Right? And so that's why I feel like one one thing too that I really appreciate about Ryan that I saw in him in at when he was 21 and 22, and I continue to see in him is that he's a learner and a yeah. grower and someone who's just committed to, first of all, growing in Christ. Yeah. I mean, for sure, if you can marry somebody who, whose whole life is given to Christ, who loves the Lord, you know, um, that goes a long way, right? I mean, it's kind of that very cliche thing, like, you know, two people growing toward the Lord are also growing toward each other. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you can marry somebody who's committed to growing in Christ and just growing as a person. Because you're going to be with them forever. Yeah. God willing. God That's willing. right. Yeah. God willing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah.